Listen up, everyone. My name is Jim Schmelman, and you're watching This Game Sucks. On this episode of This Game Sucks, I will be talking about Castlevania. Castlevania was released in 1985 by Konami, and it can only be described as a steaming pile of garbage. You know that smell when you walk outside on a 95 degree garbage day? And there's just that, that garbage juice, and, and the garbage truck went by and some garbage fell out and it spread out on the street and there's rats and raccoons and pigeons picking at it. That's what this game smells like. And physically, it doesn't really have a smell, but that's, I get, I smell that when I play it and even look at it. I really, I get that smell in my nose. And I don't know if, if that's a visceral reaction, or if this game has actually caused me brain damage. So the game just drops you here in this fucking house, and expects you to give a shit. Why am I here? This guy would've fucking just turned around and gone home. What, what if this was the wrong fucking house? You know, I don't know. I didn't do my research. What if we just committed mass murder to a bunch of innocent people? So I understand, realistically, that we're here to kill Dracula, but why? What did, what did Dracula ever even really do to anyone? He just lives up in this house all by himself he never comes out because he'll fucking die. Did he? Is he behind on his taxes? Am I an IRS agent? What, like... Oh, this guy would have just turned around and left. He wouldn't have fucking dealt with this. I guess, I don't know, maybe not. He's, look at what he's wearing. He's got, a, he's got his little whip there. But fuck, he still wouldn't have done it. Why would he just bring a whip? I wouldn't go in there without the fucking Avengers behind me. And they'd still all have guns too. Even the Hulk, he'd have a fucking Hulk gun. How the fuck does Dracula pay for this shit? He doesn't have a job! Maybe I am a tax agent fucking trying to, maybe I'm auditing Dracula because he doesn't claim his, his income and he can afford this big fucking house! Fuck this guy. Yeah, that's my story th for this game. I'm a fucking tax IRS agent, and I'm fucking here to audit the shit out of Dracula. I wonder if uh, Dracula tests the blood. Because he doesn't have electricity. I wonder if he even knows how prominent AIDS is in our society. What if he drank Magic Johnson's blood? <laughs> Or just some other person who had AIDS. That'd be more likely than him meeting Magic Johnson. Why would Magic Johnson ever be in this castle? Holy shit, I just think I... F what if Dracula is Magic Johnson? And that's how he survived all this time with AIDS. He drinks people's blood, the pure blood, and the pure blood dilutes his AIDS blood. And that would explain how he got this big house from his basketball and AIDS money. He's, you get AIDS money, right? He does. I know, I know, like, if, like, ghetto kids who are born with AIDS, they don't get no AIDS money. Pros and cons of Castlevania. Cons first, tradition, negative show. Here you go. Con number one. They don't give you any backstory. They just put you in there, tell you to go in this house and kill shit. I don't even know that I'm killing Dracula. I had to figure that out on my own. Con number two. The, 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 the con number three, garbage juice. No good. Pros. Pro number one, Dracula is Magic Johnson. Pro number two, Dracula has AIDS. I'm so done with this game. I fucking hate this game. I want to make a game called Assholevania 
where they don't give you any backstory and you gotta go, you go into a castle and kill fucking AIDS, AIDS, Dracula Magic Johnson. So join me next week when I review the absolute, undisputed, most overrated trilogy in gaming history. Super Mario. Go fuck yourself. <laughs>